Latoya, my love. <laughs> what go on, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget the day of our second date, as Cousin Dan just said, you walking down, walking towards me on the corner of Alameda and 3rd Street in your red dress and white sneakers. And my heart literally skipped a beat. I prayed for you long before I even called you mine. I knew you were out there somewhere, my soulmate, my heartstring, my better half, my home. Here we are today. Isn't it beautiful how life pulls the pieces of our puzzles together? What we have experienced together since that day has been a journey of unconditional love and happiness. Whether we were dancing the streets of New Orleans, partying on New Year's Eve in Kingston, singing together at Reggae Night Hollywood Bowl, taking road trips all throughout Jamaica. When you played me Gregory Isaacs, Dennis Brown, and some of your other Jamaican records, and we sat and we talked on the floor of your empty new apartment floor, Right then and there, I felt like I'd known you my whole life, and now I get to know you forever as your wife and your best friend. Wherever we are and whatever we are doing, I am completely at peace because I know I am with you, my soulmate. I promise now and forever to love you, to honor you, to provide for you, and protect you. Except when we're in Jamaica and the police pull us over. <laughs> Today I promise you this. I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share in your dreams. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding. As your wife, I promise to always be true to you, to grow along with you, to be willing to face change as we both change, to keep our relationship alive and exciting, to love you in good times and in bad, with all I have to give and all I feel inside. And the only way I know how completely and forever. May I turn around? <laughs> Maybe. But you are the most beautiful, strong, intelligent, kind, giving, sweet, loving woman I have ever known. You inspire me to be the very best man I can be so I can be the very best husband for you. It is the honor of my life to marry you and to continue our beautiful love story. I vow to love you with all my heart for eternity and our two hearts have truly created one love. Together, let us build a home filled with learning, laughter, and light shared freely. Let us be partners, friends, and lovers today and all the days that follows. 
today and forever, I vow to you my eternal loyalty and my heart. Now, in front of the witness of your friends and family, and by the authority given to me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your beautiful wife. significant others truly respect your past, embrace it, your present, and really encourage it, your future. I knew that they were definitely together when me and my husband visited them last year. We had like this barbecue on a rooftop. They were living in downtown LA. And he had like this collection of like reggae albums, like the like the physical ones and all. I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> what's going on here? And I was like, wait, like this is this is really uncanny. So I just knew that it was for sure meant to be? Well, I finally got a daughter. <laughs> Chris, how old are you now? 35, 35. <laughs> you lie. And I can see how your energy and your love for each other truly feeds off each other. And you guys, I can see how you guys are really trying to make the best version of yourself for each other and, and it's so awesome to see. Like you both love each other unconditionally um, and that love will pour into like generations to come. I'm just thankful that, that this is like real proof that God comes through and love does exist for you too. And um, I just, I love you both. I've been waiting for a long time to get a nice daughter. A long time. Latoya, you're the love of my life right now. You're so welcome to the family. And I pray and I wish you guys all the best in the future. I know you guys are gonna have the best, most wonderful marriage moving forward and I truly believe that. And I wanna thank you guys both for giving me the honor to be up here to represent you as the best man and to give this speech. And I love you guys both, and I wish you guys the best. To a long-lasting marriage, to many babies coming up, and many years of happiness and love, truly to you. I love you guys. This was truly uh, a gift of love by everybody involved here tonight. If you could point your direction to Rick and Cindy. <laughs> uh, they provide us their beautiful home, not just their home, but their hearts. And amazing, beautiful ceremony tonight. Just, I glanced a few times tonight and at, during the ceremony when I was a mess, I'm a mess now. Uh, but just to see everybody the lights, the love, and it's all possible because of Rick and Cindy. So thank you. We love you. Corey, um, she planned this whole thing. And for the kindness of her heart, she brought all this together. She worked tirelessly. There's so much things going on that you can't believe just trying to put together a wedding right now in 2020. And she just came through and was so giving. So Corey, thank you. We to have your mom do the flowers for your own wedding. I mean, there's nothing greater than that. So mom, love you. Thank you. you. Dad, we love you. Um, to everybody that's here tonight, thank you for just coming, showing us the love. It's crazy out here in the world. And to get this pocket of love tonight, um, it's rare in this time of day. So thank you. 
Um, I'm gonna have some drinks and we're gonna party. We're gonna get some reggae going and I'll see you on the dance floor. I love you.